why are we doing all this? Why have we taken this risk? Why are we investing so much time and energy to make this happen? And I think there are two broad reasons. First, and probably the strongest driver, is the human benefit. There's absolutely no question that there was a need for a new source of artemisinin. It needed to be done quickly. We were in a position to, to contribute fairly significantly to this, um, to this development. And that was the primary human benefit. And these benefits, by the way, are shared not just by the promoters and the founders, but very much by the other parties who support this project. The second, and what may seem a lesser driver, but actually has become quite a strong one, is to bring some of this opportunity and economic activity to Africa. A very significant amount of malaria problem is in Africa, probably at least 90%. By bringing the whole supply chain of ACTs to Africa, this will unquestionably simplify the chain and reduce costs and make product more available to end users. And it also allows African farmers and business people to participate in the economic activity that is generated. And thirdly, this supply chain uh, provides a very strong base for other similar products which can be easily grown in Africa, but are not yet produced here in Africa, which generates more economic activity, provides jobs, it uh, lets young graduates practice the training that they have so arduously undertaken, and generally just boosts the economy. And these impacts you can see very strongly.